Hi, it's Frank from Literature, Heart and Soul, and today I'm going to give you a little snippet from one of my favourite novels. It's just um, in the series of videos that I do about why I love, um, and you know, whatever book it is, and this one's why I love Vanity Fair, and um, this is just a really quick takeaway, and it's, um, you know, it's about halfway through the book, chapter 22, and the one of the central characters, Becky Sharp, who has worked her way up from, you know, um, basically having nothing. She's now married someone of, um, you know, uh, quite high standing and she has um, she has some status. And previously she was kind of, um, I think back in the 19th century, the, the term would have been cut. She was ignored and disrespected in public by this guy called George Osborne. And uh, <laughs> George does this and, you know, Becky remembers it. She's a strategist and a survivor and she's always manipulating people. But she, so she gets some status and she comes across George and um, there's this brilliant scene where she has the opportunity to do to him what he did to her and she chooses not to do it. For strategic reasons, she chooses not to do it. It's a lovely little moment where she thinks that it would be much more beneficial for her in the long term not to do this and to have him kind of on her side than if she were actually to kind of just spite him just to get her own back. Um, and so that's quite lovely. And then what happens is the narrator, Thackeray's narrator, just gives us a little aside and says, this reminds me of a fellow I used to know. And the quote is something like, um, who, who used to do his neighbour's small wrongs so that he could then go and apologise for them. And the effect of this, the narrator says, is that his neighbours thought he was the most impetuous fellow, but also one of the most honest. And I just love that little takeaway. Vanity Fair really is a huge 700 page novel that has so many interactions and social commentary and moral commentary and, you know, satirical critique and everything. But this one little takeaway is always stuck with me because it just sums up so much about what Vanity Fair is. These threads um, of meaning that are woven through the book um, you know, revealing our hypocrisies and our double standards and our vanities. Um, and there's so many of these, and this is a brilliant example of, of one of them. A little bit of psychological insight just to say, you know, there are people out there that do this and, and we look at them and we might judge them as being decent people, but maybe they're manipulating under the surface. Um, so, you know, that's one of my um, small takeaways from Vanity Fair. I've got many more. But for the time being, that's one of the reasons why I love Vanity Fair. <laughs> Thanks.